Hello everyone and today we are going to create this cool animated button and when we hover on it, it just starts to go faster. You can see and again, it doesn't have to be a button either. It can actually be done into like a container too. So if this was just a container, you know, you could have just made this like this and have some stuff around here. So it's up to your choice and I actually find this uh, or actually found this on CodePen. But I cannot again find the original creator of this one. So I do not have the link right now. But if you find it, let me know. But this that is from where I reference this and uh, tried to create a created in Elementor basically. So let me show you how we are going to make it. Now, one more thing is that this one uses CSS. And if you do, if you want to use the free version, then you will need to check my tutorial on how to use Elementor CSS for free. But if you have the pro version you could use the custom css and if you want to buy the pro version for custom css or any other elementor pro feature then consider using my link in the description and using the link in description you could like support me because elementor gives me a small commission and you're not paying anything extra but elementor just uh, gives me like small commission for referencing you so if you decide to get elementor pro for any other feature and extra features then consider using the link so first thing first I'll do is I'll create like another uh, container just to just to show what we are going to do. I'll just make this black in color. So same black color like this. Now inside of this we want to add a container which would be our button. And obviously if you don't know that if you want to create this into a button you could actually give it a link from going into HTML a link and then adding your link in here so that this acts as a button but right now let's just work with this one so i'll make this one be in the center and this is just my styling it doesn't have to be like yo too i'm just showing you what we can do so make sure we do full width i'll do pixels so that i have like specific size that i can use so maybe 300 and then let's do 100 i guess or 120 why not this is how my uh, what you call this section looks now i'm just going to give you this css in the link and i'll also show you how we can customize to your own liking so that you could add your own gradient and change stuff around so basically we will use this uh, container and add it in our custom css again if you want to use the free method then you will know what to do it after you watch my uh, custom free or after you watch my free video of like how to use it for free uh, basically use css for free as soon as you add it you could say it suddenly starts working and you don't really have to do much except one thing that you need to do is so one thing that you need to do is if you go into my this container you could see i have actually added a selector z index because if you add it around here it does not work for some reason so you can see that there is no blurry effect you see this glowing effect so if I let's say try to add something like Z index 2 or something, this is how it looks. It just messes everything up. So what you need to do is you need to choose the main container or whatever the parent container it is. For example, for this one, if you go to your navigator, this is the parent container. Go into custom CSS and type selector Z index 0. And you could say it works. You could obviously add your own Z index and then change the css around here to uh, make it work but let me first show you how, what we are doing in the css so first thing is we are adding a border of 5 pixel but it is transparent because we want our gradient animated gradient to show on the border border so if i make the transparent to red you could see what happened it suddenly turned it to turned it into red then we have border size so if we want to do 50 if you want to do 2, 3, 5, 10, stuff like this. So I'll just keep it 5 because it looks nicer. Then we got a border radius and you see this curved edges, uh, the corners. Those are the border radius. So if you want to have something higher, you could do 200 or just turn it into percentage and make it like, like this. So it's up to your choice. You could also do like very minimal, like 5 pixel. Uh, I, I'll add 20 for now. I don't remember what I used before. <laughs> then we got a background. So you could see there are three background around here. So if I go inside of this one, we got three background around here. Uh, this spacing is a bit off. I'll need to fix that. So you could see there are three uh, linear gradient. 
and if you don't know we can actually add multiple linear gradient on a container and we could stack them basically so if i let's say remove my animation completely like this or rather than let's keep the animation let me just make this into a white color so that we could see it i know i just flash banged you guys but keep uh, just wait for a while okay so if i remove the second and third linear gradient from here you could see this is what we get we do this is only the stuff that we get we do not get the gradient effect and all and the first one is nothing it's just the solid color that we want to use around here okay so let's say if you wanted to use something like red you will need to type red around here so you could see what happened it just made it from red to like the black color that i've added but if you want to just have the same color you could add like same value around here so that it is basically using a gradient but it is using same color so it just does not have to you know have like two different stuff but if you want to have specific color you could do it so yeah you could see i just added the same color so which is black color and then black color so if you want to have a solid color just make sure two of this color are same and that would add the solid color next is our linear gradient uh, which is if i remove this much you could see what happens okay so you could see the border right now is actually moving completely from like top and bottom so if we compare to our this stuff you could see the ball there is no gradient on the top of it but here you could see it is gradient on top of it oh sorry the animated gradient on every uh, every single edge so what this does is it adds like this uh, what you call black color stuff so if i removed let's say the third one which is this one let me remove this and show you guys you could see what it added it added a black color stuff like this i don't know if it would be visible if i maybe not okay so if you see this black color stuff around here you could see this is what we are adding so basically what we are doing is we are creating this gradient which i showed you so if i like remove this if i remove this much you could see this is the gradient and then what we are doing is we are creating a section on top of it and just placing it above our gradient and that way only the bottom part is showing because the bottom part we have given transparency of zero so again if you check the second one what i've done is we have actually given a color which is the black color which is the same as this one and we have given it 30% and then the second color is just from 80 to 0 a black color so if i change the 80 to let's say 50 or like 20 oops if i do like 10 you could see what just happened you could see we just reduced it to wherever it was like around there if i do zero nothing's happening uh let's do because 30 percent you see like we have given this one like 30 percent so it is taking 30 percent and then this one should be like how, however you want like 70 50 it's your choice but if you want this to be lower you could reduce it to like 10 like this if you do from 0 to let's say 100 or let's do 0 to like 10 you could see how this works it is just reduced a lot you could see there's some kind of black color but it is very less so if i change this to let's say 80 you could see it starts from here and then i'll need to do 100 and that way it turns into like this gradient so remember that this is where you could choose how much black color it should be shown around here on the top part so let's just make this 30 and then what size it was i had set to 80 so just play around with values now to change the color from another gradient to your desired gradient all you simply need to do is change the hash values around here so let's say rather than having like one two three four five six seven values you just want like two values right this okay obviously you could add more but let's try with uh, i guess this pink color and then let's do something like green color why not okay let me copy this linear gradient and then paste it to my third linear gradient which is this much it's not looking with 
why is it uh, i didn't copy it okay there we go so let's copy this one around here and then in the third one we just add it and wait why is it not working you might think and again sometimes it just does this so what we can simply do is you know the first color that we have we can simply just add it again at the end like this so it goes from green purple green like this so let's try this right now and you could see right now it just looks better and it just works obviously when you change stuff like this you also need to change it around here because this is our glowing effect thing that is happening around here so simply just change the linear gradient around here to the same color too like this and that way you get the same colored effect so if i just so make sure like this one and then the third one is same and when you hover on it it just does the same effect looks very cool to me now how about we want to change like the animation effect so i'm just going to copy this again because i like the previous one and it's easier to see what's happening let me also like copy this one around here let's copy and paste okay so this is how it looks now if you want this to go faster when you are not hovering or if you want to change the speed you could see in our first panel which is in the selector we have animation animate for 2 seconds so right now it animates for 2 seconds we if we want it to be faster we can reduce it to let's say 1 second or if we want it to go even faster like 0.1 second 0.5 so it takes 0.5 seconds to animate so basically if you want to have like very slow we can make it 10 seconds just the duration of it okay then we got animation around here too so remember that this one the top one is changing the animation around here on the border but this one the selector after variable is for the glowing effect that is happening behind so let's say if i just change this to let's say 0.5 you could see that it is actually going fast but actually the background one is not moving which is why we also need to make sure to change it in the uh, glowing stuff so if i change this to 0.5 now it is like matching okay i'm just going to make it 2 seconds back if you want to reduce the blur size blur size just go into blur and then reduce it to let's say 20 or just like 10 whatever you prefer i'll keep it 25 for now next this thing is not something that you need to worry about but except this one you could change and what this does is if i change the animate to uh, or whatever you see when we hover on it our background moves faster this is the speed that is uh, set to when we hover on it so if i let's say change this to 10 seconds right it should do is it should uh, when we hover on it it should be slower so let's try this it is kind of reaching to like some other side because i don't know why but at least for the faster one it's not much noticeable so right now it is two seconds if i do one second it would be like faster but with one second speed like this you could see if you want to do faster even like 0.1 second you could do this so make sure whatever uh, speed that you want on hover can be set around here and for the blurry effect behind the speed is around here and for this one it is around here okay so that's all you could add anything that you want inside of this one you could just play around with values you could just turn it into a container like this add your features section or something and yeah that's all thanks for watching if you want more tutorials like this like and subscribe check my templates i have like lots of element of free templates and also paid ones and also check the blog inside site and there's like cool stuff around there so yeah thanks for watching goodbye like and subscribe bye